Okay, let's say that leaves me with uh, about 35 to 40 minutes to actually write the essay, which I guess we can say is step four. And let's start with the introduction. So, I guess dramatic tension uh, engages the attention of an audience by evoking feelings of anxiety or apprehension resulting from the creation of an uncertain undecided or mysterious situation. In this extract, Shakespeare secures um, the attention of the audience by revealing the source of tension in the relationships between the characters and a certain ambiguity uh, behind Prospero's motives. Okay, that's my introduction, and then I'm going to go to my first paragraph on Prospero and Miranda. I'm trying to write three paragraphs, so here's my topic sentence. Predominantly, uh, tension in this extract it arises from Shakespeare's development of the relationship relationship between the characters of Prosper, Miranda and Cavadan is my topic sentence. Um, the reason why this is important, so Prospero's brusque treatment of Miranda continues at the start of this extract. Having just as my evidence now, awoken from uh, Prospero's enchantment, Miranda complains of the heaviness she feels at the strangeness at the strangeness Sorry. of the former's revelation of their family's past and how they came to be on the island. Miranda is told um, bluntly to shake it off. On this use of imperative, and from Prospero, it appears that Prospero 
has not a second to lose in attending to his uh, daughter's state of confusion at this point uh, creating bring it back to the tension and uh, between immediate paternal care and the fulfillment of his plans. This paragraph is uh, the tension between the three characters. So, topic sentence, the sense of tension between um, Prospero, Taliban, and Miranda is an important element in the drama produced the dramatic effects produced by this extract. Time. Extract. Topic sentence. That way this is present. Although uh, Prospero seems to agree with Miranda's uh, assessments of Caliban, she uses the pejorative adjective uh, pejorative sorry not an adjective pejorative villain which is a much more derogatory term than it is today in Shakespeare's time um, in referring to him And Prospero calls him a slave. Um, it appears that they uh, cannot uh, miss him. They can't do without him. Makes it in the extract. is made apparent that Caliban uh, had shown Prospero uh, and fertile of the island. Um, now, as such, uh, tension is created um, between the intense and at this point, unexplained uh, hatred that Prospero and Miranda feel towards Caliban. And the fact that they relied on him at least initially for their survival on the island. Um, 
around this here and loading towards Taliban seems to be mitigated by pragmatic concerns and then uh, the fact that two of the characters in this extract seem reliant on the labour of uh, the third Caliban the labour spies creates a great deal of tension and in my next paragraph uh, talking about comparison with Ariel topic sentence Caliban is not the only being uh, who serves Prospero on the island there is also the spirit area uh, however There is a marked difference in the manner in which Hospero relates to the two figures in this extract. That's my topic. Whereas Ariel is hailed as a fine apparition and has Prospero's commands whispered into his compliant ear Taliban is described as a tortoise. Somewhere. A tortoise uh, and a poisonous. Slave got by the devil himself. And complains there's wood enough within. Enough within when beckons by Prospero. Okay. Rather than the praise uh, that Ariel receives, Caliban is threatened with torture by cramps um, and urchins.